Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to write decimals in standard form. So when it comes to standard form, that just means writing something out in number form. We're writing the number using only digits. And in the case of this video, numbers 1 and 2 were starting with word form and converting to standard form. Numbers 3 and 4 were starting with expanded form and converting to standard form. So let's jump into number 1 where we have 62 thousandths. So the most important thing with number 1 here is making sure the 62 is in the right um, in the right places, so the six and the two. So we do not have a whole number portion of this decimal. So we know we have a zero and then a decimal. If we were to just write 62, this is going to be the most common mistake here. Now this is actually 62 hundredths because it's ending in the hundredths. Remember, word form, first name, write the number as is, so 62, and then thousandths, that means the 62 has to end in the thousandths place. So this would not be correct. That would be 62 hundredths. So what we need to do, we need a placeholder zero to bump that 62 so it ends in the thousandths place. And this is going to be 62 thousandths. So let's try number two, where we have three and 16 hundredths. So let's break this down. In number two, we do have a whole number, three. So let's just write our three here. Remember, and represents our decimal. So three decimal, 16 hundredths. So the first name is 16. That means we write that number as is. Now that 16 needs to end in the hundredths place because that's our last name here of that decimal portion. So 16 hundredths, a 16 that needs to end in the hundredths place. So let's try this out. And that works, our 16 ends in the hundredths. So this would be correct and match our word form of three and 16 hundredths. Always double check your standard form with the word form and make sure they match. So let's actually check again. So we have three and 16 hundredths. So we're good to go there. Number three, we have expanded form. So we're going to start with this 40. Work your way left to right. So left to right. So we start with a four that has a value of 40. So we know we're starting in the tens place. Now we just work our way right. So after the tens place, we have the ones place. So we need to see if we have anything that has a value um, in the ones place. This one here is going to be uh, in the ones place. So we have 41. Now after the ones place, we have a decimal. Then comes the tenths place. So we need to check our expanded form. We can just go in order. Um, they aren't mixed up, it always goes in order, so the tenths place would come next. And we don't have anything um, that is going to be sitting in the tenths place, so we put a zero. Next, we have the hundredths place, and we do have something that has a value that's going to sit in that hundredths place. We have a three, because we have a three with a value of three hundredths, so let's put our three here. Next, we have the thousandths place. And we have this seven here in the thousandths place. So we can put our seven. So let's double check. We have a four with a value of 40. So we're good here. We have a one with a value of one. We do not have any tenths. We went from the ones place to the hundredths. So we have a zero there. We need that placeholder zero to push the three and the seven to the correct place. So next we have a three with a value of three hundredths right there. And then we end with a seven in the thousandths, a seven that has a value of seven thousandths. So there we go, we are correct. And lastly, number four, we have expanded form here. Um, and the decimal portion of this number um, is represented by fractions, which is fine. You can represent decimals using fractions or decimals. And we start with an eight with a value of 800. So let's write our eight out. And now we just go in order of our places. So next would be the tens place. So 
this 5, let's see, is that going to sit in the tens place? Yes, because it has a value of 50. So a 5. Next is the ones place. Well, if we go to the next number, we have 2 tenths. So we're going to have a 2 in the tenths place, which means we went from the tens straight to the tenths, meaning we do not have any ones represented in our expanded form, so we need a zero there. After the ones, we have our decimal. And just like we talked about a second ago, we have two tenths. So a two with the value of two tenths needs to go in the tenths place. Lastly, we have a nine in the hundredths place. So after the tenths place comes the hundredths. So we can put our nine there. And we included everything in our expanded form, but let's just double check. So 800 would be this eight here. So we're good here. A 50 or a 5 that has a value of 50 is right here. We do not have any 1, so we need to represent that with a 0. We need a placeholder 0. Then we have 2 tenths, which is right here, and 9 hundredths, which is right here. So there you have it. There's how you write decimals in standard form, going from word form to standard form and expanded form to standard form. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.